Hey all, it's me Preeti. Yeah, still now I was uh, discussing about how to find the duplicates which are present in an array and now moving on I'll be discussing about how to find the even and odd elements which are present in a given array. That is, imagine you have an even elements and odd elements which are being present in an array and you want to separate them and print them separately. That is telling these are the even elements uh, which are present in an array and these are the odd elements. This is a very simple and basic program. But I'm going to teach you how to apply the mathematical functions used on arrays. So this is very important. Uh, so when you understand how to perform operations on arrays then it will be easier for you to apply any logics so you must always start with the basics or the very easy program only then you can aim for a complex pro programs so the program which is present on the screen is uh, how to find the even or odd elements which are present in an array right so uh, it is very simple uh, uh, i think there's no need of me to implement this again as well because uh, you know how to find the even and odd elements in a normal numbers as well in uh, but this is in arrays but you can also do it in numbers with very easy logic that is if the number module is 2 is equals to 0 if it returns 0 then it is an even number if it does not re returns 0 then it will be obviously an odd number that is how even i am doing uh okay when uh, the loop iterates for the first time that is when it travels for the first time if first element module is 2 if it is equals to 0 if the reminder is 0 then it is even and uh, i'm storing that into even if it is not the reminder is not 0 then i'm storing it into odd i have also given some print statement the even element present in a given array is the odd element present in a given array is right so i hope you people understood i'm initializing and decla declaring and initializing an array have taken a separate variables to store even elements and odd elements so in this given array the even elements will be 2 4 6 and 8 right so initially i'll be just printing only the even elements i'll save and i'll run so the even elements in a given array is 2 4 6 and 8 right and this logic is very simple that if a of i module is 2 is equals to 0 then it is even if it is not 0 else it comes to odd i hope you people understood it is very simple and a very simple logic there's no other logic uh, i think you can derive this one and now i'm printing both even and odd elements run so you people you can see the first one will be the odd one will be odd the odd element in a given array is and two is even the even elements in given array is three the odd element in given array is three the even element in given array is four right so i i hope you people understood right how to find the even elements and odd elements in a given array i think it was very simple very simple instead of you giving an array you can simply give a uh, i mean this one as well uh, just a number is also fine that is int a is equals to 10 right so people what is 10 10 is even huh so i'll just write the logic if a modulus 2 is equals to 0 right print it is the given element is even else if it is not that case else print the given element is odd okay save and run so the given element is even right so i hope you people understood uh, if you want to see the other case as well that is i'm just printing the number as well that the given element is even that is 10 so if you want to check with the odd i'll give it 11 save and run the given element is odd yes so i just applied that logic using arrays i just wanted to show you how to apply the operations on individual elements of an array
right so this was very simple i just uh, I, I didn't think that i'll be doing this using a number as well but for a better explanation as of how is it different from a number and how is it different from an array uh, there i was just taking the index position that is a of i here i'm just taking the number directly yes so people i hope uh, you understood very clearly and uh, the differences between a number and also uh, a between array mm, this is how you actually do it mm, so i think you understood if there's any queries regarding the video please let me know and please do share and subscribe and thanks for watching this video. Thank you.